Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here for Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben Thompson. And I'm Carolyn Bruck. We're going to send it to Larry Sprinkle for a check of the forecast. Good morning, Larry. Good morning. Our weather headlines rain free today. That's the good word about our no scattered, a uh, few scattered showers. But I think most of the showers tomorrow will be south of here and then sunny skies and mild on Thursday. Check it out. Temperatures over the next several days. We got one day this week. It's above average, but next week, especially from the middle to the end of the next week, temperatures in the upper 60s, even low 70s and rainfall chances. Check it out. We have one day. That's tomorrow. The chance of showers. We may go rain free five, six, maybe up to seven days. Next weather maker back to the southwest of here. Some showers and heavy rain tracking towards the Carolinas. I think once again, it stays south of the Charlotte metro area for today. Temperatures locally low to mid 50s, mid 40s up in the North Carolina mountains. Taking that seven day forecast. We'll take into the weekend today. 54, 53 tomorrow and then a mild 62 on Thursday, Friday afternoon, mid 50s. Looking at this upcoming weekend, not as warm as last weekend, but unlike last weekend, there's no rain and we start next week. It won't be a rainy Monday. It'll be a sunny Monday with highs into the upper 50s. And that's your first one forecast. Turning now to a wrap of our top stories of the day. Exciting news on the vaccine front. The third COVID-19 shot will arrive in North Carolina tomorrow. Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Billie Jean Shaw in Uptown. Beginning tomorrow, North Carolina is expected to receive 83,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. 10,000 of those doses are headed right here to Mecklenburg County. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine is a single dose shot and doesn't require extreme cold storage. Two things scientists say will drastically increase accessibility. Today, Governor Cooper expected to make a big announcement about the vaccine rollout in North Carolina. According to our sister station in Raleigh, he's expected to open up appointments to frontline essential workers a week early. So that means you could start signing up if you are in this group starting tomorrow. So how do you know if you qualify? Well, here are some of the jobs that the health department considers frontline essential workers. If you work at a grocery store or restaurant, first responders, postal workers, and people who work for public transit. Governor Cooper, by the way, speaking at two o'clock this afternoon, Afternoon. We're going to bring you updates both on air and online. North Carolina schools will not be required to reopen by law. The governor's veto of a bill will stand after the state Senate failed to override it last night. The bill would have required all public schools to at least offer in-person learning within two weeks. The governor is still encouraging schools to reopen, but just not making it mandatory. I'm Tracy Potts. We could see a preliminary vote in the Senate on COVID relief, the bill with those $1,400 payments, as early as tomorrow. So far, not one Republican is supporting it. But the focus at the White House is making sure all 50 Democrats do. For the second day in a row, the president has a phone call with Senate Democrats to address some of their concerns. The fact that it doesn't include the minimum wage, they're looking at reducing business tax credits instead and making sure that those payments are targeted toward low and moderate income families by adjusting the income requirements. That's the conversation happening just after lunch at the White House today. Live music lovers, your time could be coming back very soon. Concert organizer, one of the biggest ones, Live Nation, they have announced that outdoor concerts may be back by as early as the end of this coming summer. That's if states continue to ease restrictions on outdoor gatherings. Now, obviously, it's not going to look exactly the same as the concerts maybe you're used to pre-pandemic. That's because social distancing restrictions will still be in place, like at the PNC Pavilion. Billion, they would only be able to hold about 5,800 people instead of its regular 19,000. A lot of Charlotte concerts, as you know, have already been postponed, canceled, some of them multiple times for this year. The weekend, Dave Matthews Band, Michael Buble, and Garth Brooks. Garth, who we did just find out, is now going to be performing in September. Billy Joel, though, he is still reportedly on for April. That could change. If it does, of course, we will let you know right here on Wake Up Charlotte. But we want to know this morning, who are you most excited to see in concert again? Drop it in the comments or use our hashtag WakeUpCLT throughout the day on social media. Guys, back to you. Rachel, thanks so much. Now to some stories to help keep you and your family safe and sound today. Exciting news for people who are tired of working from home. There, A new business in Charlotte is actually letting you work 
from your favorite bars, breweries, restaurants. So when you head to a location that's set up by a company called Recess, you get fast Wi-Fi, free coffee, and you also get some space for meetings. The membership costs $99 a month. The location at Wooden Robot Brewery is set to launch March 15th. Pretty cool. When you are talking on Zoom today, keep it short and sweet. <laughs> A new study reveals most conversations go on longer than we really want them to. This is true whether people were talking to friends or a complete stranger. Study says a lot of the time both people want to leave the conversation. They just don't want to seem rude and can't really find a way to end it. That is interesting. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm keeping my family on FaceTime for hours on end. Holding them hostage. <laughs> Poor mom and dad. Right. <laughs> Well, make sure you watch us each and every morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on Wake Up Charlotte.